Hi, this is Kayla from the Salty Yankee, and this is the assembly video for the Barbie Box Party Prop. This one stands at 11 and a half inches tall. There is a box that comes with this file that is the smaller version. It stands seven inches tall, and it will be all in one piece. This box is separated into different pieces so that it will still be able to cut on a 12 by 12 mat. You're also going to get these pieces here. These are liner pieces that you can cut into a pattern to put on the inside. And then you'll have your name piece that you've made earlier or the logo um, that's included in a separate file. Here are the liners. We're going to put these aside for now. And then there's also the acetate piece. I am not going to be gluing down my acetate piece for my project, but I'll be showing you when you would do that. So I'm going to start with gluing the name down just to kind of get it out of my way. I'm going to apply some glue and press it down on my offset that I made in Design Space. Here we go, and now I can flip this piece over. So you can see this is the front side and the piece on the right is the back side. You're going to overlap these two sides and those two are going to get glued together. Before we do that, let's crease all of the dashed lines. It is better to do this with like a ruler or a scraper tool to make sure the creases are really sharp. I'm just using my fingers for now. You can actually see it kind of creases the paper. So it's really better to use a tool for that. So let's overlap these two sides and glue them together. Okay, and now I'm going to be bringing in my liner pieces. Now, the way that I've done it here, I realized later that when I glue my bottom pieces on, the tab ends up getting glued on top of my liners, which is fine, but it would look a little bit better if you did the liners after the tabs were glued. So if you want your liners to look nice and clean, I would say wait to put them on until after you've glued the bottom tabs and then glue on the liners. But you can see here, I've already glued them on at this point, so there's no going back. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to bring in the bottom piece, the one that's going to be glued to the back side. That's the one that's got the three tabs on it. And there is a PDF sheet that comes with this file that will label each piece and where it goes. So I'm just creasing all of these right now. I'm going to add glue to the top tab. And then I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the center of the back and press that tab on. So right here is where you can see the tab is on top of my liner. It's fine, it doesn't look bad, but it would look much better if the liner was on top. So I would glue this tab on and then glue on that liner. Now I'm gonna glue on the bottom that's attached to the front. It's going to be the same thing. I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the front, add glue to that tab.
and then press it down to the inside of the front. So now is when we're going to start folding upward to form the shape of the box. So I'm just going to glue this tab on the right. And I'm gluing it on the outside, but for this side, it can be on the inside or the outside. It doesn't matter. Um, because the side we're going to fold onto it is going to overlap it. You'll see that in a second. And then this left side here, I'm just making sure it lines up. And I'm going to fold the whole thing over to get that weight on it and hold it down. Okay, so now you can see the remaining two sides are going to overlap just like that. So all we need to do is add glue and press them down. Make sure all your edges are lined up nice and even so that your box doesn't sit crooked. Okay, now I'm ready to glue the bottom. Just going to fold it down. Add some glue and press it. And now that bottom liner can go in. You could have done it actually earlier when it was flattened. It doesn't really matter when you put it in. This would probably be hard if you had acetate in. So I would say to glue the liners while it's still flat and not a 3D box yet. So now we're going to add the top of the box. The top of the box is going to be glued to the front instead of the back. So it's going to go in just like that. The reason is because you're going to be able to open and close the top. So let's crease the top. I'm going to flip the box over. Add some glue to this tab and line it up square and then you'll fold that tab down to glue to the inside. And now you can close the box. So now's the more fun part. We're going to do the Barbie. So your file is going to include a Barbie that you can change the colors on and that you can print and cut. I'm just doing the silhouette right now for simplicity. These two cubes, I'm just running through this really quickly because they're just a simple folding cube. You don't have to use these. You could use um, foam cubes instead. The reason I included these is because they push the Barbie out quite a bit, so she's not so far back into the box. Once you use these cubes and put her in there, she's kind of forward-facing and sort of standing out and gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. So they just get glued to the back of the Barbie. Okay. 
And I did my cubes in the same paper as the liner because then if you look from the side, it sort of blends into the box and she sort of looks like she's floating. And then from there, put her in first to make sure you can get the positioning right before adding the glue. And it's finished. Check the links below for some related videos on this project. It does come with another smaller favor box. Uh, there is not an assembly video on that one, but it's the same as this one. It's just all in one piece. And you can get this file and the favor box at thesaltyyankee.com. Thanks for watching.